Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. And today's topic is continuous features versus patterns of features. Today's question is, we work with different inspection services and one service would report a profile of a surface for surface A, which is two bosses separated by a gap, as one continuous feature and just report one line item in the report. Another service would report two lines for each boss. Which one is correct? Our drawings call out ASME Y14.5-2009. One service wants us to change our two times to a continuous feature. Do we need to update to ASME Y14.5-2018 to make this change? Now, there's a couple things to unfold here, and we're going to go through all of it. So bear with me here. We'll pull up an example that shows the continuous feature compared to a pattern of surfaces that creates just one inspection. Now, we're going to compare these two examples to each other, which are the same interpretation. The continuous feature symbol is a rather new symbol that was introduced in 2009 and has continued to be used in the 2018 standard. Now there's some confusion as to when you can begin to use the continuous feature on flat planar surfaces. The confusion arises when the standard explicitly says you can apply the continuous feature to features of size such as cylinders, and that's how the definition in the standard starts in the 2009 standard. But if you look at the bottom of the 2009 standard, they also apply this symbol to flat planar surfaces, even though they don't say verbally in any of the text that you can apply it to a flat planar surface. However, in the 2018 standard, they come out and explicitly say that you can apply this to flat planar surfaces as well as features of size. So in my personal opinion, you can use the continuous feature in 2009 on the both planar surfaces and features of size and be perfectly fine. Everybody know what you're trying to accomplish. Now you can apply this continuous feature to something like the flatness symbol we see here, or you can also apply it to a profile of a surface that's controlled back to other datums. But one way to get around this, if you are pre-2009 standard, is to utilize what we see here as a four times profile of a surface to the same value we saw with flatness. Now, since we have a four times in front of this feature control frame, in other words, controlling these four surfaces together, we create what's called simultaneous requirements because it's a pattern of features. Now, ASME Y14.45 tells us in section 11.4 that when a geometric tolerance is applied to a pattern of features and simultaneous requirements is defined in the ASME Y14.5, the report data may be affected. In some cases, the part may shift relative to the datum reference frame or reporting coordinate systems. It then goes on to describe a method of inspecting this. And the method that it goes on to describe is to report one singular line item for these four instances because it relies on simultaneously inspecting all four surfaces together. In other words, we need to fit a zone around these four surfaces. You'll only see two because we're looking directly on it. But we need to fit a zone around all four of these surfaces. And there's a balancing act that we need to make sure to iteratively fit this zone until we can have the smallest zone that contains all of these surfaces. Then the size of that zone is the reported error for all four of these surfaces. Thus, you only report one error. Now, the standard also goes on to describe all sorts of different situations where you can you know, report the pattern of four holes uh, and report the location of each one of those four holes with respect to the other three holes. And it's a very involved process. But at the end of the day, for something like this, where we're con controlling multiple surfaces, one reported line item is the only thing that's necessary to make sure that this tolerance is being met. So we can see here the zone is going to shrink but it also can change orientation as we would see here. So we're going to iteratively shrink this zone until it can capture all the elements of all four surfaces right here. And the size of this zone now is the reported profile air or flatness air for those four features. Once again, whether we use continuous feature or the four times in relying on the simultaneous requirements of inspecting those four surfaces together in the same inspection, the outcome is one reported value. Hopefully that helps answer your question a little bit and thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below 
or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GD&T and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.